How do you think Dallas handled this, Greg? This is ridiculous. Mm. This is flat out ridiculous. I, when I listen to Jerry Jones and he says that he has empathy for every player, he's expressed that and he defends them and supports them to a fault. When did we see him support Lucky Whitehead? Did, did we see this? Did we see him go in front of the media and defend him or even make any comments about it until right now? We didn't see this. But for everyone else, we saw him in the midst of it, during it, all, all the way through. The, the issue that I have, and, and then I don't even want to really talk about Jason Garrett's comment because he sounds very robotic. He sounds like a puppet that, that like, we know he is. Mm -hmm. yep. and, and it's almost as if when they started asking him about other players, uh, that's, not, that's not in my territory to speak on. Like I said, we made the best decision for our team concerning Lucky Whitehead. The main issue I have with this, and I mean, I have a deep issue with this, Skip. When there's a decision that's made and you are wrong, why is it so hard to just come out and apologize and say, you know what? We were flat out wrong. Why, I'm, not, I'm not saying that Lucky Whitehead hadn't done things prior to this, which he has. We know of them. But right here in this situation, what we're talking about, they were wrong. Flat out wrong. And they can't... If Jerry Jones shows empathy, just say, you know what? We were wrong in this situation. And possibly we could, we could we have handled it differently? Possibly. But we made a decision and we're simply gonna stand behind that decision. I think we could all respect that. Respect. But they won't even come out and, and, and be apologetic. The authorities have even come back and said, you know what? We made the wrong decision. It was the wrong guy. It was a mistake, not might have been a mistake. Exactly. Mm. That's my issue. It's I don't, I don't mind them parting ways because did he have issues that we probably don't even know of? Probably. But for what they're parting ways with him for, from our view, our vantage point, this is dead wrong. This is flat out wrong. He may need a new slate, but come on, guys. This, come on, guys. By cutting like Lucky Whitehead for what he did, it's like me pouring this much water in the Pacific and it flooding and they charging me for it. Because what he did, what they allege they thought he did, he didn't do. Now, I love how when they get the facts that they like, what Jerry say. Now, what, from what we've seen, Zeke, there is no evidence of Zeke done anything wrong. Now, that's what I'm, mm. that's what I, I'm here to tell you now. Zeke's mm. done nothing wrong. That's a pretty poor Jerry. I'm just, but I'm just saying. <laughs> but is it the, did he say that? Jerry's not he from said it. South Georgia. Did he, he say he it? He said Arkansas. it. Arkansas. Yeah, did he say it, Skip? Yes or no? Yes. See, don't, 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 don't get so caught up in, oh, that's not a great, uh, 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 uh what's the word I want to use? Jerry Jones impression? Yeah, that, that's not a great impression mm -hmm. to lose sight of the fact. Did he say that? And don't do an impression. Did he say, say that? <laughs> did he say that? <laughs> did he say, okay, did he say it? Yes, he I, did. I can't remember what you said that he said. Did he say from the evidence that he's seen, there's nothing on Zeke? From what he's seen, Correct. there's nothing. On domestic abuse. Okay. Period. End of story. The rest of it, he's non-committal on. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. What, okay. What about the fact that the guy bumped the, a linebacker? I forget his name. He bumped the female with his truck. When a male tried to Damian intervene, Damian Wilson. He pulled a firearm on him. Now that wasn't enough to get you kicked off the team. He's Red going to get suspended by the NFL. I didn't ask you, I didn't ask you Skip. Mm -hmm. I didn't ask you one well, thing. Get your facts straight. Just lay them out on the table. Greg, it's like this. If you do something wrong at school, the school suspends you, but your mom and dad don't do anything, what have you learned? If it doesn't come from home, I'm going to continue to do it. Because because the teacher used to say, Shannon, you need to stop talking so much. Talk when you get home. Mayor Porter said, boy, talk when you get to school. <laughs> Guess who won? I, yeah, 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 yeah. I was fit me in the hall. Because Mayor Porter ain't fit to put the, that switch and I belt on my backside. Mm. Skip, all I'm saying is, is this the line in the sand that you drew? That lucky whitehead, he didn't cross, mm -hmm. but you thought he did. And you were willing to, oh, we got morals now. Now, we mm. can't stand a thief. Ooh, there ain't nothing worse than a guy that'll steal. But a guy that will pull a rifle on someone or someone that can't pass a drug test, 
Mm. Been in the NFL two years and probably flunked like 12 drug tests. We're going to keep him. We're going to keep him not coming, you know. He's hey. indefinitely suspended. He will probably never play an NFL game the rest is of his life. Is he currently on the Dallas Cowboys roster? He's suspended. Gil, is he, he is. on the roster? On yes the roster. Yes or no? You keep telling me what he is. Is he you on know, the roster? You know, this is special, what's happening here. <laughs> we are talking about Lucky Whitehead. 48 hours ago, you two would have barely known who Lucky Whitehead was. Barely, but I watch these games like a crazy person, so I know that he's pretty valuable because he's an explosive playmaker every once in a while. I also know that it was highly doubtful that Lucky Whitehead would make this year's 53-man roster because they drafted a new punt returner named Ryan Switzer out of North Carolina who took seven punts back to the house during his time at North Carolina. That college player works out in the NFL. Okay, so that's where they will go. And if they need somebody just to flat out catch the punt under pressure, they will put Measley Beasley back there because he catches all the punts that come to him. He just can't do much with it after he catches it. Mm -hmm. And there's a kid named Noah Brown out of Ohio State that I thought they stole in the seventh round. And I think he has a real good shot of making the roster as another little cog in their receiving core at some point, if not on the practice squad. So was Lucky expendable? Yes, he was. But what is special about what's happening here is that day after day after day, I have to listen to you across the table from me and occasionally a little bit of you chiming in as his chorus <laughs> saying that, uh, that Jerry Jones loves his players to a fault. He's a player's owner to a fault. He lets them get away with near murder and he covers for them and tries to cover things up for them. And maybe he slips some tickets here and a dollar or two there just to make these things go away. So for the first time in Jerry's, however many, he's, he's going into the Hall of Fame coming up, what is it, a week from this Next weekend, week, yeah. yeah? And in all these years, he's been nothing but criticized. Nothing. I, I think he's the most criticized figure in all of sports. Just trust me on this yeah. because he is so front and center and all the abuse that America's team takes, it's directed usually at that rube from Arkansas, that that guy, Jerry Jones, the hick from the Arkansas sticks, right? And you're doing his accent, and it's fine. I'm not blaming you for that, because everybody does it. <laughs> but the point is, Jerry, he got hot at the media, and he dished it right back out. And he's basically saying, okay, so day after day, you call me too soft. Now you're calling me cutthroat. We finally took a stand. Was it sending a message? Was it a little unfair? Was it a little knee-jerk? Did they do all the homework they should have done? No. Did they look a little foolish? I'll give you that. But I love the fact that they actually drew a line in the Southern California training camp sand and said, we're, we're not going to take this anymore. It was one little thing after another. Just last week, it was his pit bull had been kidnapped. I don't know what happened, but USA Today reported that the police were considering pursuing action against Lucky Whitehead for falling, filing a false police report on the kidnapped pit bull. If somebody stole it's Hazel, what thing. would you do? Nobody's going to steal I, 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 I don't think. God, God help me. But what would you do, Skip? Okay, but I don't know what happened. I don't think the Cowboys are sure what exactly happened. It was just another incident. There was the traffic accident that he did not tell them about, and then he was late last year for a walkthrough, and but they, they, they cut kept him. him at home. But they didn't cut okay. him then. Because he was a contributor, and clearly uh -huh. he is expendable, and they needed to send a message because both of you have been killing them on this show for the trouble that every but, player but gets. But you're sending in, a right? message for a guy that didn't do anything. And if anything okay. were to happen beyond this to any other player, what what should we expect from them now? If Zeke so allegedly, we tolerance. If, if Zeke allegedly gets accused of something, okay. what I, happens? I've used this story so many times. Jimmy Johnson's legend was born in 1992 when after the final regular season game that didn't even matter, they'd already secured their playoff spot, they blew a little bit of a lead. They were 27 to nothing up, and it was 27 to 14 against a bad Bears team coached by Mike Ditka. And Kervin Richards, the backup to Emmett Smith, fumbled twice in the fourth quarter, and the next day, Jimmy flat out whacked him. He just cut him. And everybody said, how could you cut your backup running back going into the playoffs? Emmett didn't get hurt. They were boom, boom, boom. They won the Super Bowl. And Jimmy was a hero 
because he refocused the team. He drew a line because he cut if, Irvin Richards. Is that Jimmy sitting next to Jerry? No, but he's trying to be. Oh, no, 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 no stop he's it, not trying to be. Stop it, Skip. No, Jerry's trying <laughs> okay, to be. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, exactly. But you know what? Jason Garrett showed me a pulse th this time. He showed me he had a little backbone. Yeah, he's not question, invertebrate. The question <laughs> was, did Dallas handle this situation correctly? Mm -hmm. And the answer is no. Yes, they did. They drew a line. They did something. You've been wanting them to do something. What did they cut him for, Skip? <laughs> for all these incidents. <laughs> they, th they thought it was just another thing so, with Lucky so, so White. So and someone, they made an example so, so out of somebody right. who was not even going to make well, the it's roster. Not, it's not like he had a, a completely clean resume no. and then this happened. So there were things that built up to it and they didn't do the proper yeah, so, research. So, they so had, to, they so had to make a decision. You didn't get, so, if I, so the police can arrest you. You didn't speed today. But you you spared two years ago, so you can get a ticket for that. No. Oh, okay. That's what I no. Thought. No. 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 That's all I need to know. Brought to you by Straight Talk Wireless.